If you're watching this right now, it means that I finally got my ass up, recorded a video, edited a video, and published it to YouTube.com. So, I would like to say thank you for your patience. Let me know if you like the setup. I'm not really too crazy about it, but you know, we do what we can in this economy. And uh, yeah, <laughs> everybody put your Jalen's back in the comments, like the video, just because you know it's gonna be a banger. And let's get on with why I am the luckiest person that I know at thrift stores. <laughs> so this video is just gonna be showcasing everything I've gotten in the last three months, just so I can say that it was like recent. And yeah, I'm really excited about everything that I'm gonna be showing you, cause like they're my favorites. I won't be showing you like everything I've gotten from thrift stores, but I definitely consider myself lucky just because everything that I've been able to find recently is kind of everything that I felt like was like a missing piece in my wardrobe. And I try not to feel like I have missing pieces in my wardrobe because everything, like I don't need so many clothes. And I actually just got rid of a lot from like Plato's, like at like Plato's closet. But I do think that my wardrobe is at a place where I can wear whatever I want and fit in with wherever I'm going and still feel comfortable and still feel stylish. So I'm really happy for myself for doing that. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the first item that I'm gonna be showing you, which is like a beautiful pair of boots. Who doesn't love boots? <laughs> Did you see them? Yeah, they're beautiful, ain't they? So I got these boots from one of my local thrift stores. I was like, those look nice, but there's no way I'd be able to fit them which is a theme when it comes to shopping for shoes secondhand for me. I wear a size 11 and a half to 12 uh, shoes. I have pretty big feet compared to most other people. And so it's just almost impossible for me to find shoes, boots, whatever, footwear secondhand. And so I immediately wrote them off as like, I can't fit them. And then I looked at the, I looked at the size on the inside, 10 and a half, that's a whole size, you know, less lower than I wear so I was like I definitely can't wear them but my curiosity got the best of me and I tried them on and lo and behold I was able to squeeze my big feet into these boots I don't know how I did it I think it's the length of them but um yeah <laughs> they're beautiful they look really classy and I love kind of just dressing like in like a button up like like collared shirt and then like a pair of like loose pants that are like kind of slim just to match the silhouette of the boot. And then this watch, I was actually wearing an outfit like I described earlier, like when I was like doing errands. And uh, yeah, I just love these boots. Uh, my only problem with them is that they get a little tight around the top of the foot, you know, in this area after like an hour and a half, especially if I'm walking heavily, then they definitely don't feel good after like an hour or two but that's the only gripe I have with them. Other than that, they're perfect. They don't really show their age. I don't know how old they are, but they can't be old in like a decade or two. So yeah, this is a really good find for me. And that's just like reason number one why I'm the luckiest person at thrift stores. Let's go on to reason number two, which is also a piece of footwear. So reason number two, why I'm one of the luckiest people at the thrift stores or at thrift stores, at least that I uh, are these New Balance 990 V4s? Now, um, <laughs> New Balance is really, really popular right now. They used to be seen as like a, a shoe for dads, like a dad shoe, because you know, the big chunky dad shoe silhouette that they have, and that's completely understandable, but I also have seen a lot of people who are into fashion uh, co-opting the New Balances and Amelie on Door, has also had like collaboration after collaboration with New Balance. So now they are super mega popular. And I wanted a pair of 990s uh, just, just to try out the dad shoe thing, just to try them out. Cause I thought they were like a pretty, like a nice looking shoe. They're not like too dad shoe-ish, but they definitely are, if that makes sense. Also, I hear they were super comfortable and they're actually really good for running in. That's like the whole reason that they were made to begin with, running. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to try them out, but then I saw the prices for them. $200 retail, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna pay $200 just to try something, if that makes sense, because I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. But one day I was at Goodwill and <laughs> 
I saw these babies right here, these 990 V4s made in the USA on a shelf. And I was like, huh, New Balance, those are 990s. Those are definitely 990s, nice. And I really didn't give it much thought after that. But then I saw them again out of the corner of my eye. And I was like, I wonder what version they are. Just just to be curious, just, just for curiosity's sake, I wonder what version they were. And then, then I checked and I saw that they were V4s. And I was like, nice, fourth version, cool. They look pretty good. And then I was like, Nah, no, no use looking at the tag, cause they they're they're not gonna fit me. Cause like I said, big feet, hard to find shoes secondhand. But I did see that they were kind of bigger than all the other shoes around. I was like, huh? I'll look at the tag. Looked at the tag. One's really faded, so I was like, okay. And then the other one had a twelve on it. And I was like, this is promising. And I snagged them up and I checked out. <laughs> And the rest is history. I've been wearing them for like two and a half months at this point uh, to the gym, to run errands, etc. They're super comfortable, even though they are kind of beat and like the sole is like, meh, you know? But they're super comfortable and I've had no problems with them. I love the way that they look. They're in the neutral gray colorway, you know, just like the most common, most basic colorway that they have, but that's fine because it's popular for a reason, right? And yeah, just great running shoe. Like I wear these to the gym a lot, mostly. Um, they're good for errands. Just, you know, put your foot in and then you're comfortable for the next four hours. They're great and I'm really lucky to have these. <laughs> 990 V4s. But these are the last shoes that I have to show you just cause, you know, the, last, the only shoes I've ever found at their stores that fit. So let's get on to the next category, which will be jackets I've got a few to show you so most recently as in like literally just like a day or two ago I was thrift shopping and I found this beautiful baby right here this is a Marlboro Adventure Team leather jacket it's in like this beautiful light brown or like sandy brown colorway and as you can see right now as well there is a map on the inside i believe this is a map of the rocky mountains because i think marlboro was founded in colorado don't quote me on that but uh yeah <laughs> great find and literally the only flaw is the seam rip on the back, which you can probably barely even notice it just because I'm recording on an iPhone, but even still, it's barely noticeable. Let's see it on body. And yes, it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, as you can see, there's this little flap right here. This is a storm flap or a gun flap. They're a common, they're a common feature or detail, usually on trench coats, just so rain doesn't get onto the pocket. But speaking of pocket, that's what the that's what the storm flap is covering right here. It's a little pocket. And yeah, as far as other details go, the there's cuffs on the sleeve made out of cotton. There's cuffing down here as well. It and also the zipper has this Marlboro Adventure Team kind of logo on it. Uh yeah, that's a that's this jacket right here. Beautiful, 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 vintage, vintage, vintage. Uh, this is probably my new favorite jacket, just because it's, oh man, <laughs> it's just beautiful, but uh, I, I got like a few more jackets to show you, so I can't just gush on about this forever. Up next, I have another leather jacket to show you, and it is also just beautiful. It's just a plain leather jacket. There's really no details to it, like there's no front pocket. It's literally just jacket, collar, and pockets, but... It's a lot of interesting stuff on the inside. It's blanket lined. Well, I don't know if blanket lined is the right word, but it is lined with cotton um, just for extra warmth. So it's gonna be a great fall jacket. Let's see on body and it's great. <laughs> it's, it's great, it's beautiful. It fits me exactly how I want like a leather jacket to fit me. And the reason why I'm lucky to find this is one, it's at a thrift store. I got it for like a fraction of the cost that it would be retail. And two, I had been looking for a black leather jacket for forever now. I've only ever found like brown leather jackets at thrift stores, <laughs> as you just saw. 
Um, so this was the first black leather jacket I'd been seeing. Just It's so classic that I wanted one in my closet just because I know it would go well with pretty much anything that I could put under it. And it does. This looks like, this looks timeless. This looks classic and cool. You know, I could I could be riding motorcycles in this thing. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I really don't have too much more to say about this. I haven't gotten like to wear this out yet because it's the middle of August. Well, it's the beginning of August, but it's the middle of summer. And I got this like very recently as well. Like I'm not wearing it out yet, <laughs> but I, I will soon. It's almost fall, thank goodness. But I have just one last... I have just one last jacket that I want to show you. And then after that, we're going to be moving on to just like a couple pairs of pants. So, last jacket I have to show you is this vintage L.L. Bean like military blazer jacket. It's obviously army green. It smells good because I wore cologne under it. <laughs> But um, yeah, I've had this for like a month or two. Found this at Goodwill. Um, yeah, Ello Bean Vintage. So they're a good brands. They make good clothes. So I saved a pretty decent amount of money just by buying it like secondhand. But let's see on body. And of course, I look great in it. <laughs> I don't really button it up too much, but here it is buttoned up and here it is unbuttoned. Um, some details, just two pockets on the side, mesh pocket on the inside, another pocket right here. That's really all there is to it. But if I ever were to throw a fit with it, I would just put on some cargo pants under it, some boots, and then a, like a plain shirt like I'm wearing right now. And I'd call that a fit. I think a lot of people would call that a fit. I, I would hope I'd be able to throw you know, a military styled fit with all the cargo pants and this military jacket and boots that I own. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's kind of not like super exciting like the leather, like the first leather jacket I showed you was, but I'm still happy to have it. So let's get on to the pants that I want to show you. I won't be showing you like all the pants. Um, I didn't even show you all the jackets I got. I got four total. I just didn't show you one jacket just cause it's literally just a jacket. I had been looking for one like the other one that I got for a while, but it's really nothing to write home about. If you want to see it, just let me know. I'll show you. I think it looks good. You know, can style it pretty well. But I want to show you some pants. Pants are like the centerpiece, literally, of every outfit. So let me let me get on with that. So I'm only going to be showing you two pairs of pants that I got, mostly just because I think I've only gotten four, and two are really nothing to write home about. Really? Hi, Cleo. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. You wanna you wanna be in the video? No. <laughs> you just wanna watch? <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> so let's let's show you the first pair, which is this pair of Wranglers. Now, Wranglers. I honestly thought they were just like kind of like a like a farmer's brand like a like a cowboy brand i mean that's obviously what they try to market themselves as but when i saw this pair of like gray brown wrangler pants with like a cargo pocket i couldn't she went to the bathroom <laughs> i couldn't resist it <laughs> did you enjoy your potty break leo I'll take that as a yes. No, 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 no. Okay. Bye, baby. <laughs> but I couldn't say no, uh, just because I don't really have, I didn't at the time have anything of this color in my wardrobe and I knew they would fit because they're a size 38. For some reason, Wrangler likes to fit really tight. So even though this is a 38, it still fits like a, like a shrunken 36, if that makes any sense. I wear size 36, by the way. Um, and honestly, the, the reason, the thing that got me about these pants is this little pocket right here. It's honestly nothing special at all, but I, I couldn't help it. I was like, that's, that's cargo enough for me. I'll take it. And I did. And luckily, 
I really like them. I've already worn them like numerous times and they're really easy to, to style to just throw on and go anywhere in them. And yeah, I'm really happy I got them. Some kind of normie-ish, but let's get on to something a little bit more interesting. This next pair of pants I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna assume that they're military inspired just because I didn't see like any like army navy tags on them but they're a pair of army green cargo pants they're really they're like my favorite cargo pant at the moment like my second favorite I love my Ralph Lauren ones though um so here they are in all their glory this is from a brand called Stephen Barry's cargo and yeah as you can see standard cargo pants they come with this little with the drawstring and the inside and they carry a lot of space they're pretty long on me i think they're like 34 in terms of length which at most i'll do like 32 or i think these are <laughs> let me double check myself yeah these are 35 34 i think 35 is like my true waist size but i always like having some room to move in in my pants uh, just so I'm not uncomfortable I it still baffles me that people don't consider comfort first when dressing but I may be weird I guess I don't know but these are a little bit tight just because they are kind of like more my true to size but I they're super baggy in the legs I like that a lot about them and I usually chuck them on with some boots and my blousers which I used to like make it look like I tucked my pants into my boots and it's almost it's always a fit it's always a fit and I can even sometimes wear them with like low tops and it'll look really really good like just sneakers so I like the versatility that these provide in terms of styling and yeah they're they're like an all season shoe just because I have worn them this summer and I wasn't like dying of like heat exhaustion or whatever because the bagginess allows for airflow so yeah good find and I just have like one more thing to show you it's like three things but I'm gonna show you all at once just because they're pretty much the same <laughs> and then I'll do my little outro okay next up got I got three pairs of shorts to show you but like I said they're all pretty much the same so I'm just showing you them all at once just for the sake of time you're probably done with this video by now <laughs> um but they're all from cabela's i found these while thrifting and i know i just said i hated shorts but they are the most practical thing to wear at times they're easy to chuck on i don't really need to care about what i'm wearing and also sometimes it gets to be 100 degrees and i don't want to wear pants when i'm when it's that hot outside even though i hate shorts so i got these i got a pair of navy blue cargo shorts um i also have this this khaki pair of cargo shorts and the only non pair of cargos is this gray one i think these are my favorites not just because they're like different but also they're just like the most comfortable they have like the elasticated waist so that way they're they give a little bit too when i put them on um, they're so easy to throw on the color makes them easy to style just everything about them is just kind of what I didn't know I needed in a short and these are all pretty short shorts too I think they only get to be about like six inches maybe five six seven they're not really long they're definitely above the knee which I didn't even know I liked until this year <laughs> but uh, yeah just three pairs of Cabela shorts simple and they do the trick when I need them to. So that was everything that I wanted to show you that I've gotten from thrift stores recently. I, again, am the luckiest person in the world at thrift stores. So I'm super duper, uber duper blessed. <laughs> Go me. And I just wanna say thank you for watching that video. You can tell I'm rusty. You can tell I'm rusty, can't you? Well, don't tell anybody else because they might not be able to tell. But I do want to keep this ball rolling. So let's hope that I can. I cannot promise that my next upload won't be in three months, though. I cannot make promises that I'll be, like, consistent or, like, quick. So just kind of be grateful for whatever I give you. 
kind of thing. And uh, thank you for watching regardless. <laughs> I know I sound kind of snarky, but I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, just have a good one. Give your mom a hug for me.